Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Priyanka Singh. I'm a retina consultant at Shekhar Eye Hospital. So friends, today uh, I'll be talking about posterior vitreous detachment, also uh, known as PVD. So before telling about uh, posterior vitreous detachment, uh, let us first try to understand what vitreous is. So uh, the eyeball, the globe is uh, 90% filled with a jelly-like substance which is called as the vitreous. It is clear, transparent in nature. And the vitreous itself, which is jelly-like, is constituted of 99% water and the remaining is collagen and hyaluronic acid. So what happens, the gel form slowly with age tends to undergo wear and tear and tends to undergo liquefaction. Now this liquefaction can happen normally with aging or this liquefaction can be slightly hastened in people who have got some inflammation or in people who are nearsighted, myopic patients. In them, the gel form gets liquefied faster. So what happens, the vitreous which is filling the inside of the eye, it is, it is attached to the retina at multiple places. Slowly because of liquefaction, the gel form collapses on itself and leads to detachment of the vitreous from the retina. So this is what we call, that, call as uh, posterior vitreous detachment. Now this PVD can happen normally or abnormally. So when I say abnormal, that means it can happen either with some amount of bleeding, wherein a small blood vessel can get uh, evulsed when this uh, PVD happens. Or during this uh, posterior vitreous detachment, a small amount of retina can be pulled along with the uh, vitreous and leads to retinal tear and holes. So what are the symptoms of a posterior vitreous detachment? Patients come to us with uh, most commonly complaints of floaters. Now these floaters as patient complains in their words are more like cobwebs which they see in the field of vision. And uh, they classically say that the cobwebs move when they move the eye and tends to float around. So floaters which can be uh, present, they might increase in number due to PVD or patients can have new floaters. A few patients can also come with uh, flashes. So what happens when the vitreous is separating from the retina, it tends to irritate the retina. And this leads to uh, development of the symptom of flashes. The patient generally complains of uh, having seen flashes during extreme gazes in dark rooms. So sudden eye movements uh, triggers the flashes. And they classically say that they see light lightning passing around the corner of the eyes, uh, especially on sudden eye movements. So flashes and floaters are the most common symptoms of PVD. Another symptom is seeing dark black floaters, or uh, uh, which is generally seen due to some bleeding which has happened. The bleeding generally is not much, except when the, a major blood vessel is evulsed during detachment, during the posterior vitreous detachment. Um, so uh, once a patient with a uh, symptomatic uh, PVD comes to us, we have to thoroughly examine the retina. That is very important because we don't want to miss any retinal tear which can be associated with a posterior vitreous detachment. So if there is a retinal tear, urgent laser needs to be done. Postponement can land the patient in a detachment. So if uh, my uh, kind request to all of you is if, if you happen to have any tear, Please get it lasered at the earliest. A laser will save you from going to a major surgery which may be needed if the tear leads to a detachment. A laser is done as an OPD procedure, office procedure and uh, during laser the tear is surrounded by multiple laser uh, rows to seal off that tear, tear area. Uh, the flashes and floaters uh, generally tend to subside over weeks to few months. It is uh, very uh, variable as to when it will actually stop. Uh, but uh, generally what happens due to neuroadaptation, uh, we tend to, the brain tends to get adapted to those floaters. So although the floaters will still be present, the eyes tend to see it lesser because the brain has gotten used to the floaters. So neuroadaptation will help you with the floaters. The flashes tend to settle quite uh, slow, but uh, the process of PVD, once it completes, generally we say that the symptoms are, will settle. Also, we cannot say that after seeing a patient whether a PVD is complete or not. It might still be in process and we cannot predict when it will 
actually complete. So uh, once we see a patient with a symptomatic PVD, we might want to see the patient another two weeks later or a month later to see if there are any new changes or any tears which have developed in the due course of separation of the vitreous. Uh, so, uh, this posterior vitreous detachment is a very, very common symptom which uh, generally elderly patients come to us with and uh, many times we find them uh, to be having few tears or holes which require immediate laser to prevent the chances of retinal detachment. As far as the symptoms are concerned, uh, they settle slowly over time. So, uh, that's all about uh, posterior vitreous detachment. Thank you for your patient listening. Thank you.